The Bosch PMP585 barometric pressure sensor is the best barometric pressure sensor so far. It's a hidden gem I found for you guys. The technical details and uses of this sensor will amaze you. By using this tiny sensor, you can create high-tech gadgets. Today, we'll use the Bosch PMP585 barometric pressure sensor with Arduino. With this sensor, we will measure atmospheric pressure and we will also use it to find out which floor a person is on in a building. You definitely don't want to miss this video because the information I'm going to share with you won't be found anywhere else. I'm the first one to use the Bosch BMP585 sensor with the Arduino and in upcoming video, I will also use it with ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. So without any further delay, let's get started. The Bosch BMP585 barometric pressure sensor is an ultra low current consumption and is renowned for its high accuracy and precision. With an absolute accuracy of plus minus 50 pascals and a temperature coefficient offset of plus minus 0.5 pascals per degree Kelvin, it establishes itself as an industry leader in pressure sensing technology. This sensor is so sensitive that it can detect very small height changes even just a few centimeters with an operational pressure range spanning from 300 to 1250 hectopascals. It offers exceptional versatility. The BMP585 is designed to operate from voltages of 1.08 to 3.6 volts for the IOs and 1.71 to 3.6 volts for the primary supply. Designed with a gel-filled cavity, it provides robust protection against water, chemicals and other liquids. It can be used underwater and in harsh environments. It offers accurate localization and navigation. Due to its tiny size, the Bosch PMP585 barometric pressure sensor is a single package solution for smart watches, variables, home appliances and much more. If you want to learn more about the technical details and features of this sensor, I recommend reading my article on electronicclinic.com or you can visit the product's official page and download the data sheet. Since I'm using the BMP585 barometric pressure sensor for the first time, I thought I should try a development board first. That's why I bought the BMP585 shuttle board 3.0. It's a small PCB with the BMP585 pressure and temperature sensor already placed on it. You can download the PDF file for this board from the product's official page. In this PDF file, you will also find the schematic which will give you a clear idea of which resistors to use with the BMP585 and how to power it up. It also explains the pins in detail. Even though the board doesn't have any labels, you can still easily figure out the pins by looking at the number of pins on each side. One side has 7 pins and the other side has 9 pins. The pins on this board are not Britpot friendly, so if your soldering skills are not good, you might face some difficulty. To use this board with Arduino, ESP32 or any other controller, you will need to solder jumper wires to the pins of this board. The schematic has so many pins that it can be confusing to figure out which pin to use and where to connect it. I only understood it after studying the BMP585 sensors data sheet. To save you time, I have created this schematic for you. You only need 4 pins to connect the BMP585 to Arduino, ESP32, ESP8266 or any other controller. 3.3 volt and ground to power the sensor and SDA and SCL for I2C communication. I have designed my own PCB for this which is completely Britpot friendly. You can download the schematic and PCB file from my article. Link to the article is given in the description below. As you can see, I have connected the BMP585 shuttle board 3.0 to the Arduino. According to the shuttle board schematic, connect pins 1 and 2 labeled as VDD and VDDIO to 3.3 volt on the Arduino. Connect pin 3 to the Arduino ground. On the other side, connect CS or CSP that is the first pin to 3.3 volt. Let me tell you, the BMP585 provides one serial interface to the host. It acts as a slave to the host. The serial interface is configurable to the interface protocols SPI, I3C and I2C. As per the data sheet, if the CSB is connected to 3.3 volts during power up and not change, the primary interface works in I2C or I3C mode. So, 
By using I2C and I3C, it is recommended to hardwire the CSB line to VDD, IO or 3.3 volt. For details on protocol selection, see the digital interface section in the data sheet. Connect pin 2 labeled as SCK or SCL to the A5 pin on the Arduino. Connect pin 3 labeled as STO to 3.3 volt for I2C slave address selection. Finally, connect pin 4 labeled as SDI or SDA to the Arduino A4 pin. For the connections, you can follow these circuit diagrams. There shouldn't be any issues with the connections because we wired the BMP585 barometric pressure sensor recording to the data sheet. But just to be sure, let's run an I2C scanner code to check if we can read the I2C address. As you can see, we successfully read the I2C address. Programming the BMP585 sensor was a bit challenging for me because I couldn't find its library in the Arduino IDE and even on the product's official page. While researching data for the BMP585, I came across the BMP581 sensor. Its technical specifications were almost the same as the BMP585, but the BMP585 is better in terms of accuracy and a few other things. Anyway, the Arduino library for the BMP581 was available, so I installed that library. Honestly, I was pretty sure this library would work with the BMP585 sensor. To confirm, I opened a basic example code, upload the program, and then I opened the serial monitor. But it didn't work. As I mentioned, there are some common things between the BMP585 and BMP581. So I decided that instead of creating a completely new library, it's better to use the BMP581 library. This way I could use some parts from the BMP581 library and write some of the code myself. But this wasn't as easy as it sounds. I had to study the data sheet for two days. I carefully read about all the registers and finally I was able to write the code successfully. You can see here that I'm using the BMP581 library to create a new sensor object called pressure sensor. This is the I2C address of the BMP585 sensor. After that, I went down to the bit level and configured each register according to my needs. I have added proper comments for every instruction so you won't face any difficulty understanding the code. Right now, it might look a bit confusing, but when you compare it with the registers mentioned in the data sheet, everything will become crystal clear. In the loop function, we simply get measurements from the sensor and send it to the serial monitor. The temperature will be printed in Celsius and the pressure will be printed in Pascals. If you have any questions regarding this program, let me know in a comment. Anyway, let's go ahead and upload this program. Right now you can see the temperature is 32.83 degrees Celsius and the atmospheric pressure is 97,102. As you can see when I left the BMP585 sensor up the value starts to decrease. And when I bring it down the value starts to increase again. I have already confirmed that this pressure value is completely accurate. If you want a more stable value you can go to the 0x36 register and set the OR sampling rate OSR264X or 128X. Right now I have set it to 8X. In the next project we will find out which floor a person is on in a building. Let's do it. To count the number of floors I use the ground level pressure as a reference. If you want to set any level as a reference point in real time you can also use a push button with a controller. So whenever you press the push button, the current atmospheric pressure value will be saved in a variable. You can then use that saved value as a reference to measure the height. I also defined two variables for measuring altitude in feet and floor number. This time to make the value more stable, I have set the OR sampling rate OSR to 64X in the 0X36 register. Now the value will be much more stable. Using these instructions, I first convert the pressure into altitude and then to find the floor number, I divide it by 10. 
The reason I divide by 10 is because in our house, the distance from the floor to the ceiling is around 10 feet. That's why I use 10 for the division. So that's all about the program. I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch this in action. Right now you can see that the total height is 15 feet and the floor number is one. That's because I'm currently on the first floor and my laptop and BMP 585 sensor are on the table. To test this, I will first go to the ground floor, then come back to the first floor, then move up to the second floor and finally return to the first floor. I'm going to fast forward this part of the video. As you saw, it successfully measured the height and also correctly identified which floor I was on. In the next video, I will use the BMP 585 barometric pressure sensor with ESP32. So, that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.